If you're familiar with our quad flap chest rig and the flapped mag pouches in the front that can fit pretty much any type of rifle, carbine, or pistol SMG type magazine, uh, you might have wondered, hey, are they going to make a placard for this that I can throw on the front of my plate carrier or turn into a micro chest rig? So enter the triple mag placard. This is using the exact same format of our quad flap chest rig that I just threw on the floor. It's going to fit all the same magazines, four MP5 magazines, uh, MR762 or 417 magazines, AR10, AK762 mags, 545 mags, pretty much everything. There's a couple things that we've done to this product to bring it into the modern era because the inspiration behind this is definitely the Cry AVS front flap placard that they make, but is really only designed for steel magazines and only one magazine. Uh, this is taking some of that same design inspiration, but allowing you guys to carry much more stuff. So on the back, if you guys will want to see this, we're including a back backer uh, that's going to make it a little bit more comfortable to wear as a chest rig. This is simply a piece of Cordura with Velcro sewn on the back, so it's not just the Velcro material and that hard, like, sort of plasticky sort of backside, uh, but you're actually going to have the comfort of Cordura on the back. It's not padded. I know some people out there do the padded. Uh, that's not what we're doing here because we don't believe that it's necessary for a rig like this. Uh, once you remove that, you have a nice amount of uh, Velcro on the back hook that you can use to attach to the front of a plate carrier, uh, attach other like wings and sack pouches and dump pouches and things like that. Um, that are, I think there's, it's pretty standard now for most placards and chest rigs to come with that. Uh, we are doing something kind of a unique, unique and different about how this attaches uh, to the front of harnesses and plate carriers. We are including both a G-hook, which is a very minimalist approach to attaching this to plate carriers on the market, and some plate carriers are only compatible with something like a G-hook, uh, but we are also including a swift clip male buckle, so you can still clip it into the AC-1, other plate carriers out there, or a chest rig harness. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your one wrap, you're going to pull the one wrap through and then you are going to choose which of the two attachment styles you want to use based on what piece of equipment you're utilizing this placard with. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and do the swift clip buckle because I'm actually going to build this out into a little micro chest rig to show you guys kind of what that looks like. You're going to thread it through. You'll see that there is a lasered slot here at the top. This is just to keep the one wrap secured and the buckle nice and tight to the rig. So you're going to weave that through. And this is where you can also set the height that the swift clip buckle is riding at. And this is important for certain plate carriers where maybe you want this to ride a little bit lower or a little bit higher based on the distance of the swift clip chasm, like little hookup area on the plate carrier and the actual loop field on the front of the plate carrier for the actual placard. We also include on this rig swift clip buckles on the sides, and as you'll see, they're already attached. So if you wanna build this into a micro chest rig, just right off the rip, uh, you can do that. If you're throwing this on the front of a plate carrier, I highly recommend taking these off. You will notice that this is sewn very tight. This is done so that the buckle doesn't just come off on its own, uh, but it also means it's kind of frustrating to put on there, and that's just kind of that balance of uh, the harder it is to take off, well, the harder it is for it to fall off on its own. Another thing that we did to this rig, and I really wish more companies would do this with placards and chest rigs in general, is we added that little loop in the middle. Uh, this is particularly important if you want to run wings with this as a chest rig, like this one I have over here. When you go to use a back strap on the bottom, uh, like most rigs out there, I'll disconnect this, you will have this... Uh, this lovely occurrence where it's pulling from the bottom, your H harness is pulling from the top or your X harness, and then your tourniquet or your radio or your whatever you have on the side just sort of tips and spills forward. By running the back strap in the middle of the actual item that you are attaching to the Velcro on the rig, it keeps it nice and tight to the body, like it should be. So we give you guys the options of, hey, do you want to run it on the bottom? Do you want to run it on the middle? And really depending on how you're running it, there's benefits to both. I'm running it in the middle on pretty much every rig because I do have a couple little micro chest rigs like this one built. This is one's for uh, precision shooting. I could fit my uh, my bolt gun mags in the front or a, a uh, mono uh, clip-on or uh, uh, rangefinder thing. 
I haven't had enough rain. But a little range finder in the front. I can have my Kestrel. I can have all my whatevers. Um, I have a bag attached to the front. And this is just a little bit easier to train with to some extent than a full chest rig or even a full plate carrier. And so this is how I have mine set up with our harness. And then a back strap. Just attach that. And this is actually one from a different chest rig. And I just threw it on there because uh, I didn't have one of ours. So back to this Ranger Green placard. I've got all the Velcro off to the side. I'm not going to take these off right now. I'm just going to leave them. I've got my AC1 right here. And boom, there I go. I now have three mag pouches on the front of my plate carrier that can literally carry pretty much anything, which is quite a bit more versatile and I think practical for most citizens and just kind of individuals out there than having dedicated mag solutions for very specific magazines, especially if you're someone who's trying to have a DMR, a 5.56 rifle of some sort, possibly a little tiny 9mm SMG subgun type thing, and then you have to constantly swap around placards. I've done it, it's super annoying, but something like this, it doesn't matter what I'm using or if it's a battlefield pickup, I'm good to go. As a little refresher, here's a few things uh, that can go in there. This is what a 20 round PMAG is gonna look like. Sits pretty low in the pouch. I don't necessarily recommend running that, but you can if you want. 762 by 39 AK mag. There's not a lot of Velcro uh, sort of adherence on the front because AK mags are so horrible. Um, they are, uh, 762 by 39 mags. But as you'll see, there's enough here that I'm pretty confident this isn't going to go flying. I'm good to go. 545 by 39. This ammo is really expensive now, which is funny. Good to go, pretty much like a standard AR, you know, P mag. Technically, you can double these up like I have right here. The flap is not really going to engage, again, due to the curvature of the AK magazine. Um, honestly, with how tight these are, you could probably just not even run it with the flap, and you'd probably be good to go. G3 magazine. It's got lots of sharp edges and ribs and weird stuff. Good to go. AR-10, standard PMAG, good to go. Flaps a little bit, you know, it'll be a little long, but you don't necessarily have to, actually, it's not too bad. That's basically what it's gonna look like. Got a little extra at the bottom, easy to grip, rip and grab. Standard AR magazine's gonna look like this. I can always add another. So if you really want to run six mags on the front, this is really one of the only options on the market besides maybe you've got a, something with a molly cummerbund, you have a standard kangaroo pouch, and then there's molly on top of that, and then you do something like a Blue Force 10 speed, so you can double up if you absolutely need to, but you can obviously do the same thing with our placard. And then last but not least, the 417 magazine, the bane of every pouch's existence. This is the worst magazine to design kit around as far as a rifle, like normal magazine. I'm not talking long action, uh, you know, precision gun, anti-material rifles. Uh, but as far as like rifles, DMRs, stuff like that, this is the worst magazine. It's why companies make dedicated pouches for these. But we are trying to accommodate this pouch, this magazine, because if we can accommodate this magazine, it's going to take pretty much everything. Now, it is a tight fit. It's not something you're going to tack mag into this pouch. You're going to have, th you know, three of them. And then as you reload, they're going to the ground uh, or in your pouch in the front. But as you will see, it fits in the front just fine. So I can run my M110A1 with three magazines in the front. I could flip my cummerbund, run two more on the sides, and I'd be good to go. When I'm done using this on the front of my plate carrier, I can always just unclip it. Take one of our H harnesses and a back strap. Clip it into the H harness.
And then our back strap comes with some extra buckles, which in this case I'm not going to need. It's more for if you adapt this back strap to another chest rig that maybe didn't come with buckles. But hey, I've got some spares now. And then we want to cover up all that nasty Velcro on the back using the included panel from before. And now I've got a little micro chest rig, which used to be all the rage, and I think still is to some extent, depending on who you ask. There are some benefits to something like this over a larger chest rig. I can fold this up and throw it into a bag if this is like my little snipery chest rig thing. Uh, much easier than a large chest rig. So this is a nice placard because it actually is a fairly useful micro chest rig because I can put anything in the pouches. I'm not restricted to 5.56 magazines. I'm not restricted to uh, a submachine gun magazine. I can have my iPhone, a range finder. I could have some other spotting instrument, my Kestrel. I don't even have to just run magazines in here. I can throw whatever I want into this placard that is now a little micro chest rig. If you have any other questions about this product and its compatibility with other products on the market, go ahead and email us at team at trex-arms.com.